they deferred. Roberto Sanchez puts it into the night air and off we go in the final game of the season from the seven yard line and they're going to send it the other way here as it's handed off to Cruikshank and Cruikshank to the 50 and to the 45 yard line. Former Patriot in the backfield now in third down and seven. Quick flip out here to Taylor and he'll get bottled up and taken back. Darius Leonard coordinator under Doug Peterson in Philadelphia. Calls the plays here. This is Hines making as many looks as you'll see by any team. Second down and 12. Again, play action. Buys time. Fires caught at midfield. Dontrell Inman. Second and 11. Look, really good protection. And that is hauled in. Burden on their only other third down. The play clock is down to three. The defense moving all over the place. And Luck dancing in the pocket, breaks away, keeps his eyes downfield, fires back in the end zone. It is caught. It is Dontrell Inman for the touchdown. He was a free agent from the Patriots. Deep drop, and then Gabbard's going to go deep downfield, and the coverage is good and incomplete, and nearly picked off. But he's had a great year. Third down and ten. Luck fires over the middle, and that will be hauled in on a couple of times. Obviously keep an eye on him, and second down and two. Nice hole over the right side here from Marlon Mack. And going for it here as they empty the backfield, at least for the moment. And then the pass is caught on a slant to the inside of the 35. They are in the playoffs. Second and 12. Luck fires, and that's caught, and on the first down. At least it has been over the past couple of months. Second and six to the outside goes Mack. Tries to get around the corner and does to the extent he's able to pick up the first down. Colts have had the ball 16 minutes. And the Titans less than four. Luck fires into the end zone and that will be hauled in for the touchdown. Eric Ebron, his 13th touchdown reception of the season. <laughs> That's the first touchdown. Well, and besides that defense has gotten so much better through the year, and that pass is knocked away. Trying to jam it into Davis. Opportunity for another here. And the backfield is luck. Steps up in the pocket. It's jostled, but gets it away, and it's picked off at the 20-yard line. Intercepted by Jayon Brown for the touchdown. And boy, oh boy. Boy, did they ever need a big play, and there it is. Bring him into the slot, flare him out. Tip and incomplete. Very dangerous. Jayon Brown, Roberto Sanchez, Billy Jackson back. Snap is low, but he gets it away. Jackson lets it bounce, and then fumbles it, muffs it, and the Colts are there to recover it. Bunch receivers to the right. Pass is caught. Ball is loose. And the Titans are going to pick it up. And it's Brown again. Wow. On third and six. Gabbard fires. And that's dropped at the 28-yard line. Good coverage. Darius Jennings is there. Kenny Moore might have gotten unbelievable. I'm so fired up about him. They've kept in touch, of course, last year in Philadelphia. The two of them together on this play here on a second down and six. It's T.Y. Hilton who breaks away and finally goes down at the 46-yard line. And they just did it again for a huge play. Bucks going for 180 yards. And a few more here to Rodgers from the 35-yard line. Luck dancing. And it's almost picked off again. Derek Morgan had it in his hands. He misses. Tennessee gets it at the 43-yard line. Adam Vinatieri with a draw, and it's good. Titans have all of their timeouts. It starts over the middle. That's caught. Corey Davis. That's caught. 46-yard line by Deion Lewis. Oh, and a flag comes in. When you've got a struggling offense, you don't want to give them this. This is at least a step out of bounds. Mm.
going low. You got inside tackle positions. So that's pretty unusual. And four, and then he's caught. Davis again he gets to the 23. That's the first down that he was flanked. Wide left, Corey Davis at 6'3 would be the one guy I guess would jump ball. And the pass to the end zone is double teamed and incomplete. Mm -hmm. Does he stay perfect against them? Yes, he does, but there's a flag down. All right, Michelle, let's see if they can get that pass rush going. Almost no blitzing in the first half. Luck back to throw. Wobbly pass, but right on the money, and that goes to the tight end, Eric Ebron. And Luck fires over the middle, broken up, flagged down again. He had Malcolm Butler on T.Y. Hilton. I mean, you just let him catch the ball, make the tackle, and they have to kick a field goal. That's exactly what you're hoping for. And they're going to get that little tug right there. I don't think it was the tail end of it. Boy. Earlier part, in the 30-yard line. Luck. To the sideline and making the catch and out of bounds at the one yard line. Ball at the one on a first down and goal. And Luck throws and wide open for the touchdown. Ryan Hewitt, the tight end. He's on a third and 18. It never asked about the health of Luck, and it had a little bit of something to do with why he got the job. No question. Here's Henry. And breaks away, and Derrick Henry with a beautiful run of 18 yards. Henry 10 times to 43 yards, and Gabbard wasn't expecting the snap. Flag is thrown, and then Gabbard throws it out of bounds. The clock at one on a second down and five. They keep it on the ground and working his way for a first down. They have been dedicated to the run tonight which is a little startling how well they've done with that. 98 yards on the ground. Now they're into triple figures by a lot as Mack almost broke it all away. And let you know, obviously, as this drive starts from the 45-yard line. Henry, breaking one. All the way to the 21-yard line. Alabama, great call to the outside. Luke Stocker, and Luke Stocker will take it. All the way in. Start from the 27. Pass over the middle, and that's going to be a first down and more. Look at that run by Mo Ali Cox. Look out from behind. Sack. You can see that coming, going around the end. Harold Landry. The play fake. Gabbard fires over the middle, caught up at the 20 yard line. Play action. Gabbard flushed out. Caught Henry. That's three receivers to the right side. Gabbard looks that way. Out of the pocket. Keeps his eyes downfield. Intercepted. Picked off by Kenny Moore. To the 37 yard line he goes. Third down and one. It's a first down. Keeps that clock moving and the change as well as Marlon Mack for the Colts. Luck going to take off. This drive consuming almost five minutes at this point. Luck dancing away. And he will get taken down at the eight-yard line. And that one is... Good to add three and make it a two possession game. They're a one and five, giving up 30 a game. They've had it since then. Gabbard throws. That will be caught. They're out of bounds at the 17. 14, they have to go for it. From the nine yard line, need 14 to keep it alive. And it's tipped and it's incomplete. Coverage was great. So, unless something totally bizarre happens in the next 228, that's that matchup. And there is the finishing blow for sure as Mack takes it into the end zone. And it has been a night for the offensive line of the Indianapolis Colts. They've been terrific. And all times to miss a, an extra point, you are a conspiracy Thank theorist. Thank you very much. No, I just think it was interesting. Very. From the 28-yard line, 
That is intercepted at the 45-yard line. That's Darius Leonard. And he'll take it to the 8-yard line.